Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista. This is Fisher, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today, we're giving you an up close look at the Corksicle Mickey Mouse Sling Bag. So stay tuned. Sea Rad. Hi, everybody. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. I am always on the search for the perfect bag to use while we're at Disneyland. And I've been eyeing up the Corksicle Mickey Sling Bag for a while now, and I finally pulled the trigger and went ahead and got one, just to see if it's actually as good as people say it is. And guys, I think I may have found the perfect Disney park bag, or anywhere bag. <laughs> so usually when I'm in the park, sometimes I have a backpack because I'm carrying extra kids along with me. Yeah, sometimes Chip, sometimes Groot. But when I don't have a backpack, I like to wear a fanny pack because it's just easy enough to throw in the few essentials that I need to walk around the park. And then I usually put a bag in a locker that has other things that I may need throughout the day. But the fanny pack has become a little hard to get in and out of. With the fanny pack, I also have to wear a bottle strap for my water bottle. So when I saw this, I was like, that may just be the answer that I'm looking for. Now, crossbody usually bother me the strap along the neck but this strap actually might be comfortable guys so Fisher I'm gonna set you to the side so I can show them this bag are you good with that I'm good with that all right little dude boop we will see you in a little bit so corksicle it's a bag it also has a spot to carry your water bottle I thought this might be a great idea it's like a nylon material, so it is water resistant. I don't know how waterproof it is for getting to the inside part, but yeah, I, water resistant. I wouldn't say waterproof. Size wise, it's nine and a quarter inches tall. It's about four and a quarter inches across, and then width is about five and a quarter, and that counts this part of the bag right here that expands so this is where the water bottle goes it has this cool green lining I love the color of the lining it's like an aqua greenish blue and then it has an adjustable strap here on the side so you can pull it a little bit tighter so if you have a smaller bottle in there it won't fall out unless of course you have the real small bottle in there then yeah it doesn't quite go tight enough and get it as tight as it can go it won't quite go tight enough to hold the 16 ounce water bottle in there but it will hold a water bottle or canteen from 16 ounces all the way up to a 40 ounce and i grabbed a couple here so i could show you this is the bottle i usually carry with me in the disney park sometimes i will get a smart water while there so perfect perfect size and i like this because i still have room on the side of that bottle to throw like my sunglasses or my regular glasses in so instead of putting them in the zipper compartment i have room for them in there now the other bottle i sometimes do at disney parks is i love the dragon fruit vitamin water which they do carry at some of the carts and fitting that in there and yes i would still have plenty of room in there for my glasses or in other small things on the side things that if they fall out they can be replaced and then I sometimes like to carry this cup with me usually in my backpack because it glows in the dark but I like it because it's convenient if I get a soda I can throw the soda in there instead of the cups that they have and that fits in there really really well the only thing with this cup I would be worried about the lid popping off so if you had a cup like this with a screw lid or any of the corksicle canteens they would all fit in there pretty perfectly but the water bottle is not the important part the important part is being able to also carry my essentials with me and I have everything in there right now guys and it fit perfectly so let me show you what I carry around the Disney parks I know a lot of people carry different stuff and like I said I usually get a locker for things like socks during the summer I'll throw a pair of Crocs in there a sweater in the winter and yeah so it's not gonna carry the big things but it will carry the little things most importantly my phone will fit in there 
So if I'm going somewhere and not using my phone for filming, I can throw it into the bag. And then this is how I pack my stuff. So this is my little bag that holds my mirror, my dental floss. Yes, I take dental floss with me everywhere because, you know, you get popcorn stuck in your teeth and that, that can be the end of a happy day. So dental floss, I usually have an eyeliner in there and my lipstick. And that's all I carry makeup wise to the Disney parks. And then I also carry my fuel rods which I can replace at the Disney parks. I carry a bigger brick battery that I leave in the locker, but these are great just to pull out of the bag when you need to just give your phone that little bump. So that fits in there. And then I have what I call my little Fisher's first aid kit and my first aid kit. So I carry my gum, my band-aids, Tums, Advil, and then I have a little first aid kit for Fisher in there which has some safety pins, some zip ties, and some of the hair elastics. Just in case. You never, never know. So all three of those bags fit in there perfectly with room to boot and then of course you know you want to carry your wallet with you it would fit in there a very small wallet very easily I mean come on it like eats my arm guys lots and lots of room in there but the one thing it's missing in this little padded interior there's no zipper pocket, which is normally where I would throw my credit card and my ID. So I actually got, and I'm going to take my ID and credit card out there so you can't see them. So I actually got these cute little attachable silicone things on Amazon. So they're like little card wallets and it's got a 3M sticky back and I use these in my backpacks too. So you just stick it on and then it'll carry a couple of cards in there for you. Very lightweight, very flexible, and yeah, it worked out perfectly, perfectly for this bag. I can show it to you that way because my number is not showing and it's covering up my ID. <laughs> so perfect and I put it in a spot where when I'm wearing the bag like this with the bottle in the front, so all I have to do is unzip it, open it up, and the cards are right there for easy grabbing. And I tested it out already and it's in a spot where it's really, really convenient to grab the cards. With my fanny pack, I usually put it on the inside and yeah, just struggling with everything, especially when your hands are full. I've got Fisher, I've got my camera and yeah, it just, I, convenience, right? I know mobile ordering, they have that for a lot of things and I've even started using mobile checkout in the stores, but every once in a while you do need your card or some cash and those little silicon things are awesome for that and I will put the link to those in the description of the video for you just because they're totally totally cool so back to corksicle here I just want to show you how easily everything goes in so I've got my little first aid kit that can slide in there pretty easily and then I've got my little makeup kit throw that in look how easy this stuff is going in here guys I love it and then, of course, my fuel rods. They are super, super important, especially when you're on a long Disney day or a long trip. And then my phone, right in there. And guys, look, still lots of room. Got some room up top, got some room on the sides there, and it's not that heavy. So, I love it. It's perfect. I also carry some C-Rad pins and stuff with me when I go. So actually, with the amount of room I have in here, I could just stick that bag right in the bottom of there and have just a few pins to hand out to people. And then Fisher now wears his lounge fly and he's got some things in that too. But really super cute. One other thing I wanted to show you with these, the strap is adjustable. I do have it on the longest length now. So you can wear it as a crossbody and it'll hang really low for you or you can adjust it if you like your bags kind of up higher i'm i like them lower they they bother me less when they're lower i think when they're higher it takes a little bit of the pressure off your neck so yeah if i want to try that at the parks i can try that but my favorite part about it is we, we can put Groot on here and he can kind of hang out or any of your new emos so i've done reviews on little harnesses for them but there's a lot easier way if you don't want to buy a harness all you need is a hair tie 
<laughs> so with the hair tie what I do is I put it around Groot's arm once, I put it around twice, and then you're just going to hook it around the back of the strap and then onto his other arm and if you want extra stability you can twist it and put it on him again. Good thing about the new emo is they have the armature in their arms so you can kind of go tight on it there. And little Groot, he's hanging on for dear life, but he's on there really good. He slides around a little bit so you can adjust him to where you want him on the bag strap. And this will work for backpack straps and any type of crossbody strap. Usually the, the thicker ones like this work better if you have anything thinner. Yeah, it's not going to work out real well. but. Now Groot or any of the new emos I have can kind of travel along with us and not worry about throwing them in the backpack. I might even be able to get TT on there. I, I'm not sure. TT, if you don't know, is Fisher's little ET plush he carries around. But not important about that. Let's go back to Corksicle again. <laughs> so this is available on the Corksicle website and it's available on Amazon. It's shipped by Amazon, sold by Corksicle. Cost on the bag, $69.95. Ouch, I know that is a little bit pricey for this. Corksicle stuff is not cheap, but it is great quality. However, they have been running sales, so keep an eye out for some sales on things. I got it for less than the $69.95 on a really good, I think it was Cyber Monday sale. So, if you like it, it's totally worth it. I'll be using it in the park next week, so I will definitely update you and let you know how my shoulder fares during the day. The strap is really, really super soft. It's not too bad when it rubs so far. i kind of been wearing it around so I could see if I could handle it for any amount of time. So, yeah, it, it's really, really super cool. So, rating this on our scale of totally bad to totally rad, it's definitely a totally rad, guys. It could be a beyond totally rad, depending how it works out next week. But we'll have to stay tuned and see if my rating changes. Right now, a totally rad. But what do you think of it, guys? What's your favorite bag to take to the park? Are you a backpacker? Are you a lounge fly person? Or do you like smaller bags like me? Just so security is so much quicker when you don't have a lot of stuff. <laughs> But, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome and totally rad things in the future, please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right? We'll see ya later. Bye guys.